Hi, this is George from Upfish, your marketing automation expert. And today I'm going to be running you through one version of automatic content blog creation, essentially. Now, there are probably two ways to do this, as many of you will have seen already. One is where you completely automate the process. It finds content, it posts it to a WordPress site, it happens very quickly. Um, for other people, though, specifically agencies, startup companies, you want to have a lot more quality control on what you're actually putting out there, which means that rather than auto posting content, you're very happy to create something, get enough information there, but then you want to put into it manually. So this is a process that shows you how to manage different keywords, different topics, or if you're an agency, different clients, get all that information, generate content, and then put in, a, put in an automation in place for you to manually approve it before it gets posted out. So it's a pretty simple process and I'll walk you through it. The first step is to have a sheet of topics. So for example, here I just have the NFTs, marketing automation tips, and then you create a Google alert to track these. So I have a Google alert with an RSS feed, which looks for anything about NFTs, uh, one for marketing automation. This could be as long as you want. So imagine that you're a company with many different topics within your product range or an agency who controls many different clients. What you can do here is have multiple topics with multiple RSS feeds. And then for the perspective, this is basically who you're writing, the, who, who, how you want it to come. So for an NFT topic, you want it to be written from the perspective of an NFT expert, a marketing automation expert. You can play around with this. And as well, if you have different clients, you also have a style guide. So for NFTs, for example, here, I want ChatGPT to create articles in the first person style, make it sound exciting. For some marketing automation stuff, I want it to write in the third person, make it professional. You can play around with this and add in extra columns to keep track of extra clients or products that's related to land pages but we're sticking with the simple stuff right now so you understand how it works so when you have these uh, one two three four five fields filled in the automation comes into play so every day every week every hour however often you want to run it google sheet will search those rows for your topics so for example here it's looking for nfts marketing automation tips it puts it through an iterator so that it um, this one result turns into two results Okay, then the RSS feed will basically try and find any information relating to this. So for the purpose of this example, I've limited it to two results each time. I don't, uh, for an example, I don't wanna have like 100, 200 results, but ultimately this number here is the important one. If you wanna create a lot of content, change this number to 100, 200, 300. If you wanna have just small focused content, adjust your RSS feed to only show you the best results or results from news articles or from blogs and put the number of return items to two a day, three a day, four a day, whatever. So once you have these returned, basically you'll have here the title, you'll have here a description, you'll have a summary perhaps in some cases, uh, you'll have a URL. You can use all of these features and then it comes into JetGPT. So here again, the prompt, you'll want to make this yourself, but to keep it pretty simple, I'm asking it to create a 500 word blog post about a particular title. I could also take into the description to here, I could say, um, to give it more context. I want it from the perspective of a perspective here. So depending on the keywords, a different way of writing it. And to give it, I want it to have an original title and bear in mind this style guide when writing. So the style guide, is here so each piece of content could be different uh, if you wanted to add an extra stuff here you could also say use description for added context uh, you could ask it to fully format it in html already you can ask it to basically do whatever you want the, the prompt is up to you you could even bear in mind make this prompt a variable as well so you could have here an extra prompt that you want to add in for example like make this 800 words so we could change this to article length uh, this one, I want these ones to be 500 words. I want these ones to be a thousand words, for example. And then here in the prompt, you just need to say, change out the creator word count for the, what was probably gonna be column F, whatever. It's completely up to you. You see here how, how powerful and variable it can be. Now, once it's created this, for example, here, we have the messages, we have the content, we have the article it returns. So I wanted to create a Google Doc with this information, with a title, the article content, I wanna put it into a folder, and then I create an Airtable record. So here I have the basically what the title that it was based on, a link to the document, the perspective it was written from. I could also add in extra columns here, again, if you're an agency to say what client it's from, or to add in the style guide, the article length, whatever, what have you. And then once I click on the link that it provides, this is when the manual work comes in. So this 
is sometimes going to be good, sometimes it's going to be terrible. But the point is, on a daily basis, you're generating enough content to just go through this, rewrite it, change things, add in links, add in images. Again, this could all be done automatically. You just need to add in uh, another GPT prompt to create an image, or you could use Unsplash, any kind of module you want. I like to keep it simple for my purposes, to just to go through, have a look, change links, change content play things around some things i'll post some things i won't post so here this is all in to do once i'm looking at it, it'll be in progress once i'm happy with it it's done and then you just have another automation basically to say whenever anything in content grid view is set to done publish on wordpress or publish on a linkedin post if you change it from 800 words to 100 words for example um, you can be basically the distribution is entirely what makes sense for your business so as you can see here this is a very simple one just six modules. You can add in an extra GPT if you want to add more complexity or some images. You can play with the word count if you want to change it from a blog post to a social media post, for example. And then you can add in, for example, another router here. And basically this will just look at an air table. You ask it to search records in your air table. I'll just show you quickly how this would work. So for example, here, I would tell it uh, search records in uh, my Upfish Automation CRM in the table content, view grid view, output fields, field formula. I would say here, for example, uh, status equals, what was it, what could it be? It could be status equals done, okay? Then this would search through it. Whenever a status is done, it would find it. I would ask it to post on LinkedIn, for example, or anything like that, create a, um, create a text post. with. So again, this doesn't work for blogs, but if I was to say I want it to be a you know 100 word article, 100 word summary, create as a LinkedIn message, do it as a blog, and then update the Airtable to basically change the status from done to posted, for example. So if this is of interest to you, it'll be surely available on my Gumroad for sale. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of opportunity to customize this. So if that's something you're interested in, please just get in contact. Thank you very much for your time.